In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for lead to acetate plus sodium sulfide. First, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I'm going to treat this acetate ion, this whole thing here, is one thing. I have one of them here and only one over here. So what I'll do is I'll put a two in front of the sodium acetate. And when I do that, everything else is balanced. I've got two sodiums, two sodiums, one lead, one lead, one sulfur, one sulfur. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Acetates, this is the acetate ion, are very soluble. So we're going to put an AQ for aqueous, dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Sodium compounds, also very soluble. Aqueous, here we have sodium acetate, so that'll be soluble. And then PBS, lead compounds often are insoluble. If you look this up on a solubility table, you'll see it's insoluble in water. So we're going to put an S. It's going to be a solid. That means it's going to precipitate out. These two substances react, and this will fall to the bottom of the test tube as a solid. Okay, we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So we need to know the charge on the lead. This whole acetate ion here, it has a charge of 1 minus. So we have this negative here. 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. This has to be a 2 plus. So we have our lead 2 ion, Pb2+, plus. I'll write aqueous at the end, plus we have our acetate ion. And this 2 here means we have two of them, so we put a 2 in front. Then we have our sodium group 1 on the periodic table, 1 plus, and then the sulfide ion, 2 minus. So we have two sodium ions, and then that sulfide ion. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. Products, we have the positive sodium, the whole acetate here is negative, so we have two sodium ions, just like in the reactants. And then we have two of the acetate ions. And then with net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart, so we have just PBS. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. They haven't changed. We're really not interested in them. I can see in the reactants here, I have two of these acetate ions. I also have two of them here in the products. I can see I have two sodium ions, and right here I have two sodium ions in the products. And what's left is the net ionic equation for lead to acetate plus sodium sulfide. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for the lead 2 acetate plus sodium sulfide. You'll notice that charge is conserved, 2 plus and 2 minus, that adds up to zero. So this is all neutral, this is a neutral compound. One lead, one lead, one sulfur, one sulfur. So mass is balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for PbC2H3O2, 2 plus Na2S. Thanks for watching.